everyone, Jamie Lee here with Bird Tricks, and today I'm doing a video with this baby blue and gold macaw named Bo on the topic of four, no, 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 five common baby bird language, body language things. Yeah. Everybody get that? Did you know that there's several dozen things that you can do in the bird's first year of its life to put these beautiful things into rescues for the rest of their life? We just created a baby bird course, so check out the link in the description if you feel like you need help setting your baby bird up for success. But in the meantime, enjoy this baby bird related video. What I meant to say was five common baby bird behaviors. Whew! That's what I was trying to say in that ridiculous intro. So, I hope you like baby bird sounds today because that's what you're gonna get. I like to use the subjects in my videos, just knocking all the toys down. All the toys down. Are you leaving? I'm gonna play with this. You can hold it in your foot. It's more effective if you hold it in your foot. Can't do it? Can't do it? Do you want this one? Oh. You got it. Don't fly to my head. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Change my mind about doing this with you. Go play. Baby bird behavior number one is head bobbing. Baby birds do it. It's adorable. Uh, we love it. I call it baby mode because sometimes if I talk real sweetly to my adult birds, every once in a while I can get some baby bird behaviors to come out. Um, it's pretty minimal, doesn't look quite like a, exaggerated as a baby bird, but it happens. Number two is the baby bird vocalizations. They have their own vocalizations and sounds that they make. One of my favorite is when Bo is ready to go to bed and he does like this squeak, um, which he's definitely not gonna do now because he's just full of energy. But he does kind of a I can't do it. I'm not doing it any justice. It doesn't sound like either of those. It's like, nope, can't do it. I'll get video of it though. So not all baby bird vocalizations are cute. Sometimes he calls and is testing how loud he can really be, just as he would be calling to his mom and dad. So he tests out the uh, octave. What is that? Anyways, um, not all of them are pleasant. Baby birds also do that, where it's a feeding response or kind of like a regurgitation, but that wasn't actually in my thing. So after head bobbing, there is sounds and vocalizations that are just baby bird sounds. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of part of them. What is part of them? And number three is my favorite and it's the baby wing flap. It looks like an involuntary spasm and it usually happens when people aren't expecting it for the most part, especially if you're not a bird person, it tends to take people off guard or even intimidate them, but it's the cutest thing is the baby wing flap. Baby wing flap, can you show them? Or are you ditching me? You look like you're leaving. Can you show them what a wing flap looks like? It's like, I'll show them what a flight out of here looks like. That's what I'll show them. Please, please. Oh, there it is, a little bit. What's a baby wing flap look like? You're supposed to be my demo bird. Demo, ready, demo, head bob. Demo, wing flap. Demo. <laughs> what are you good for? You're not doing anything. Number four is clumsiness. Baby birds are clumsy. They haven't figured out balance. They haven't figured out their skills yet. Um, they kind of lack, they lack the skills. They aren't really sure how to step up, which foot to start with, if they can commit with both feet. Sometimes they step on their feet trying to figure out their whole thing. Sometimes they step on air. Um, yeah, they're just really clumsy. They're figuring things out though, guys. This is pleasant. Hey, let's show what your step up looks like. Have your foot? <gasps> Almost. Got your foot. Now what? <laughs> I 
Okay, and lastly, number five is melty baby macaw is kind of what I call it. Super technical and sciencey and all that stuff. And it's when, usually when you're going to feed them or when they think you are going to feed them, they kind of melt into whatever surface they're on and they just get really, really low and they go very baby. Um, sometimes their wings will go out, but they'll be really low to it. Can you do it? You're not as melty as other baby macaws I've seen, but. He's melting. He's getting really, really close to the surface and getting down, but he he's also fairly full, so I'm not really going to see that response right now because he's not expecting that from me. But that's the baby wing flap. Did you guys see that? Baby wing flap. Baby wing flap. There we go. And it's just kind of usually paired with that sound where they just go, ah, and the whole wing goes as well. So it's almost like this full body twitch, right? Right, toe? Right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Also, just saying, I named this toy in my toy line because we make this here at Bertrix. I named it after you. It's called the Baby Bow because it's in our small toy boxes because it's a small toy. But there's Melty Macaw. But the big birds like it as a foot toy. You know, you love it. It's one of his, the first toys he discovered here at my house, and so I had to name it after him because it had no name. And Baby Bo fit it perfectly. It's a Baby Bo. And it's going to be destroyed. Yeah. That was a Baby Bird sound, if you guys heard that one. That's a Baby Bird sound. So many good demonstrations now. Huh. What do you think? Wing flap. It's like when you talk to them a certain way, they're like, oh, oh, yeah. They're like, what? I'm a baby. I'm just a baby. Yeah. I'm just a baby. Being pet by a baby bow. <laughs> you holding on to that? Now we're getting lots of wing flaps. Now you guys have a really good demonstration of that. But yeah, those are probably my top five baby bird behaviors that you kind of need to be aware of that are um, specific to young or baby, baby, baby birds. But sometimes you may see them in adults. Um, like I said, I can just barely, I got Jinx to do it the other day in one of my series on Patreon. Um, he, he actually did it for one of my Bird Tricks Tuesday series. Just at the end, while he was on Dave's hand, I was like, oh, 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 did you see it? It was a very small version of this, but, but it was there. So I consider it a compliment. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already for all the bird content. And you can get this in my small bird toy boxes. Spot Bird Tricks. If you guys see these toys in your boxes, make sure you send me a picture of your bird enjoying them and maybe, just maybe, we'll name it after your bird. Okay, okay. But not this one. This one's named after Bo. <laughs> get it. Oh, not like that. Not feeding response. Get it? You're supposed to break it. Silly goose. But that was feeding response on a baby. I didn't mention that one. Although head bobbing, it would kind of count under head bobbing a little bit. Really extreme head bobbing. Right? No, if you could wear it as a hat. No? What do you think? This way? Maybe? It's a feather brush. Feather brush. Okay, they're probably tired of watching us. This is just what you do with baby bird. You just play with it and love it and hook it all over. Mm. Yeah, and then they melt. They melt into stuff. Melty, melty macaw. <laughs> little head bobbing. Just a little head bobbing. Okay, like give me my baby bow back. You are the baby bow. <laughs>